we are going to calculate the focal length of a convex lens. This is our convex lens. So, we are going to calculate its focal length. First, we are doing distant object method. So, for that, first draw a line on the table, then place the lens on the stand and place it at a suitable position and medium position on the line. Then screen is adjusted at the opposite side. See, I am moving the screen. See, now the lens is facing a distant scenery. The lens is kept here. The screen is moved. Now I am getting a clear image of the distant object. The distance between the lens and the screen is a focal length. Here I have to take the distance between the front part of the screen and center of this lens. So means center of the, the lens is here in the middle. So from the midpoint of this line, this wooden piece, I have to take the distance from here to there. So the distance I am measuring. So it is 10 centimeter. So the focal length of the lens is 10 centimeter. This is trial number one. Then I can adjust the screen again. Again I am getting a clear image. The distance is measured. It is again 10. So this way five trials are taken. So this method of calculating focal length is known as a distant object method. So I am noting the values. The focal length by distant object method trial 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so in the first case I got the value as 10 the next case also I got the value as 10 so I can repeat I can uh, take the 5 trials the average value of focal length can be obtained so it is about 10 so the rough value of focal length I got it is 10 now the next method I am following is UV method U means distance between uh, object and lens. V means distance between image and lens. Here the object is an illuminated wire glass. So this is a wire glass. So you can find a net here. It is illuminated by a source. Then it is kept inside this wooden piece. So its level is here. So at this level the wire net is placed. It is object. So I am drawing a line on the table and I am placing this object at a suitable position, convenient position on this line. So it is object. Then the lens must be placed between 1.5 f and 2.5 f. Here the value of f obtained is 10 centimeter. So the lens must be placed between 1.5 times 10 and 2.5 times 10 that is the lens must be placed between 15 to 25 so the distance between object and the lens must be 15 to 25 so first I am placing the lens at a distance of 16 centimeter from the illuminated wire glass so I am taking the distance from here I have to take the distance so 16 centimeter so I am placing the lens so the center must be at the 16 so lens is placed at the 16 now screen is placed here its position is arranged like this here I am getting a clear image. So I got a clear image. So distance between wire net and lens is U and the distance between this image and lens is V. So I shall measure the values. This distance we know it is 16. So I want to find whether it is 16 or more than that. So distance between lens and front part of the screen it is 
28.2 or 28.3 so I got the values trial number 1 u is 16 and this is 28.5 28, let me confirm it, 28.3, 28.3, so uh, u value is 16 and v value is 28.3, then using the formula f is equal to uv by u plus v, you can calculate the focal length, f is equal to uv by u plus v, then experiment can be repeated, in that case you make this u value 70 so i am moving the lens to new position one more centimeter i move now the distance between object and lens is 17 17 then this screen is moved here now i am getting a clear image the distance between lens and screen is measured it is v in this way five trials can be taken so in the first case u was 16 and v is measured in the next case it is 17 in that case v is measured so in this way five trials are taken so the u values are 16 so trial 2 3 4 5 then in the first case u value is 16 in the next case 17 18, 19, 20. So definitely your U value is between 1.5 F and 2.5 F. In each case you calculate the value of V and using the formula F is equal to UV by U plus V you can calculate the focal length. Then we are following another method it is UV graph. So for drawing UV graph so you have the values of u here, you have the values of v here, so uh, mark the values of u here and v is there. So using the values we plot a graph, it will be of this shape and this full angle is 90 degree and draw a bisector to meet the graph at C. From there draw a line CA to meet the x-axis and CB to meet the y-axis. Then focal length can be calculated as F is equal to OA plus OB divided by 4. Then next method is 1 by U, 1 by V graph. So for that I have to mark the values, I have to take the values. U values I have, V values I have. Then calculate 1 by U, then calculate 1 by V. U values are 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. So corresponding V values are obtained. Then 1 by U is taken, 1 by V is taken. So these are noted. And using the 1 by U, 1 by V values, I can plot another graph. So here you can see the graph. 1 by U values are plotted along X axis. 1 by V values are plotted along Y axis. And we get a graph. It is a straight line, it is AB. So in the graph you can see OA and OB. Measure OA and OB. Then focal length can be calculated as F is equal to 2 divided by OA plus OB. So we followed four methods. In the first way, the, the method was op, distant object method. And there I got the rough value of focal length as 10 cm. In the next method, UV method, I got the value of focal length. It will be also 10. Then in the third method, UV graph, I got the value as 10. In the fourth also, uh, the fourth method is 1 by U, 1 by V graph. There also I must get 10. Because you are using the same lens, so we must get the same value in all the four methods. So the average value of focal length can be obtained. It will be nearly 10 cm. Hope you understood. Thank you.